So you can see I was able to upload my own model that I created in Roblox Studio, and now it is available on Roblox, and I can use this within Roblox or Roblox Studio. So I'm assuming you're working in Roblox Studio and that you've already created a model. And so to create a model again, you would just add a couple parts together. And let's say I want a block and a sphere together. I'll change the color of this in a second so that it looks like a different model. So I'm gonna take these two parts, select both of them, go up to model, and I'm gonna click on union. You can also create the model by going to home and then clicking on group or control G, and that will group them together. And so now I have a union or a model here, and then you can name it whatever you would like. Now, I already have an example here that I'd like to save to Roblox, and I spent some time making this amazing box car over here. <laughs> and, so, and so now I'm gonna publish this model to Roblox. So I have it saved here, box car example, that's what I'd like it named. When you have your model selected, go ahead and right click, and then you're gonna click on save to Roblox. So when you click on save to Roblox, you can now fill out the information here, like the title, and then I'm gonna go with boxcar example, that sounds fine. And then I'm gonna say boxcar for your game. And the creator is me. If you are in a part of a group, you could also have the group be a creator. And then genre, you can go ahead and click on the genre for this one. I'm gonna click on funny. And this one is going to be uh, distributed on Marketplace. So you can share up to 20 assets per 30 days, at least with this account. And then if you want to know what your limit is, you can click on this tab here. Uh, you can allow for comments if you'd like. I'm not going to distribute this one. I'd like it just to be saved for my games. And so if this is a new model, you're going to want to click on Submit. If you want to overwrite an existing model, you can click on this left-hand side here. So that's if you want to save it on top of another model, like update it. So instead of having, let's say I wanted to change this one to blue, then I can go ahead and do this process again and overwrite this model. So, But this one's a new one, so I'm going to click on Submit. So if it was successful, it'll say successfully submitted. Your ID is right here. You can go ahead and paste that if you would like. So ID copied, I copied the ID number and I can paste this anywhere in my game that I would like. So your asset is now available in your toolbox in Roblox Studio, or you can click on this link here and it will take you to your library. And you can see it has my boxcar example here. And once you're finished, you can click close. I will show you that this is in my toolbox now. So I'm gonna pull up the toolbox and click there. And then I'm gonna click on my inventory. And you can see there's my boxcar example. So you can go ahead and just click this and drag it into your game or you can copy the asset ID and then put that somewhere in your game. So you can see I was able to upload my own model that I created in Roblox Studio, and now it is available on Roblox, and I can use this within Roblox or Roblox Studio. Another way you can find your models is to go to your home in Roblox, click on Create, and then in your Experiences or My Creations over here, you would just click on Models, and then it's gonna show you all the models that you've created. So there's my boxcar example. It'll take a little while for that icon to upload, but I can click there and it brings me to the same page. And if at any point you want to change the name of your model or anything like that, you just click on these three dots over here and you click on configure. And then with this, you can change the name. You can click on the different genre and anything else that you would like to save. And then of course you just click save and it'll say successfully updated. If you made it this far in this video, I'm guessing that you are making different models for your games in Roblox. You're probably interested in making chairs for your players to sit in. I have another video that covers this and I'll see you there.